What's up, world? You rocking with your dog, Bangy. This is the hottest show on the earth, the Penthouse Podcast. Let's go. You know, I put up in a limbo tonight, but I need both of y'all to come with me tonight, but shit, I don't want to see that motherfucker. Okay, you know what I mean? So I got shit left to left. Alright, let's go. New shit. This ex cousin cut on juice well. If she ain't tryna fuck what she with you for. You better lose your way to two, two, two. I ain't even tryna be rude. You looking for love inside of me. Honestly, I leave you looking like a fool. Yup. Can't get my heart involved in this. No more drunk lies, cause I quit. I got some new power, you on my list. Young Bill, can't be for real. I'm mean, She bought a care package for me and I tweet. New Mafia. Started so bad, I had to give up. Let's go. I'm gonna be that pussy dude. I took it. She like she was in love with you. But she never laid up and did drugs with you. I made her call me Bill. This shit gave me the chill. And every time we do role play, I break in the crib. That's how you feel. I've been dragging in the bedroom. If I keep it up, she gon' act bad soon. I suck on that pussy like a vacuum. Can't believe this shit got all these tattoos. If you ever found out, I'll be a mad dude. Not one but with two girls. I'm in that love and get with two girls. Let's buy these eggs, pills, and cut on juice, well. If she knew shit, who she was true for. You better lose your attitude, too, too. I ain't even tryna be rude. You looking for love inside of me. Honestly, I leave you looking like a fool. Leave you looking like a motherfucking fool. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Bangy. And on this lovely Friday night in Columbus, Ohio, today we have a very special guest. I, I like to think of him as a legend in this shit when it comes to the whole music shit. Big legend. When it comes to the street shit. Living legend. My dog is certified. His name is good. Ladies and gentlemen, Mafia Money. <laughs> mafia, Mafia, Mafia. What's up, man? I knew it, man. It's making it during the day. My dog been... pull up on my nigga, man. My dog been away from the scene for a minute, but... Yeah. But I hear you got some new shit about to drop. Yeah, but a goddamn treehouse, too. That shit that we... That shit we came on to, that's, that's the Pink Toes? Yeah, it's called Pink Toes. That shit right there? That'll probably be my single on that motherfucker party. I ain't gonna lie, we, we gonna have to run that motherfucker back because I'm feeling that pink toes. If y'all feeling that pink toes, comment below. Let Probably me know how y'all single. feeling that new mafia shit. So, you've been away from the music game for a little second. Yeah. All right, you stopped through the penthouse to let us hear some new shit, some exclusive shit. You got a project about to drop. Tell us what's different as far as what you, what, as far as what we can look forward to on this mafia project versus the old, the other mafia projects. I'm just really on a whole different level. Like when it comes to my music, like I took a two year break, like probably like probably two and a half years for real, bro. Cause I got tired of doing music for real, but I never stopped recording my music. <clears throat> so basically, I just been practicing for the, for goddamn two years and shit. You know what I mean? So and on on, yeah. on your time away, what did you? What I know you have, cause everybody got to take their time away from this shit. I have my my moments where I gotta, you feel me, get away from. On your time yeah, away, there. on your time away, as far as life goes, what what would you say the most valuable lesson you learned about life with your time away from the music scene? Uh, don't take nothing for granted. You know what I mean? I took a lot of L's and shit during this uh, break off, so uh, I don't take nothing for granted no more in life. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm trying to be more like on the the legal side, I got my hands in some real estate, a couple dump trucks, a couple semi trucks and shit like that. So, so you running it up I'm on a different level. So you me. running it up on some CEO boss type shit for real, for real on like it's a whole different mafia, but it ain't just that that street shit. But I'm on the corporate side now. So my dog basically corporate thugging now. Super corporate thugging. Y'all better stop playing with my dog, man. You put out some crazy projects over the year. A lot of them, a lot of consistency. One of the, yeah. one of the, probably one of the most consistent artists coming out of this motherfucker. <coughs> what do you, what do you think one of your favorite projects is that you put out so far, um, so far out of everything you released? I really got two favorite projects. My first project is the, uh, the Green Print. I put that out like 2015 when I had my own studio. What was it about that project that just set you off? That's like this my shit. 
I felt like a, a CEO for real. Like, I felt like a boss. You know what I mean? Um, but don't you feel like that? You don't feel like that every project, though? I do, bro, but just that, that specific project, I had my own studio. I was buying my own beats. I had everything on my own, like my own money, my own everything. So that would have just made everything better for me. How many do. How many songs can we look forward to on the next project? Are we going to get at least... At least twelve, uh, at least twelve records. I'm probably gonna do sixteen for real. Any fe- any features? 16. Yeah, I, uh, I got. Uh, you got talking to Mike. Yeah, I got um, EKT forty on there. You know, man. Shout out song. EKT. He going crazy, man. Shout out my dog. Yeah, we EKT. got some horror shit we did about two years ago, but I quit rapping basically, so you know, I ain't get to put it out. And they still need to drop it. Yeah. Still gotta get my dog <laughs> forty on here. Forty, you know, I'm talking forty, you know. Let's make it happen, man. Let's get that exclusive EKT40. Matter of fact, y'all need to come drop the video at the pen exclusively. Because y'all know it was shot by me anyway. Come Movie drop that. Shit. Yeah, come drop that when you're ready to drop that here. Do you have a date in mind <clears> that we can look forward to for any of the uh, the new music coming? But I ain't really got no date right now. I'm just uh, still putting it together. I'm going to go to Nashville and uh, shoot some videos with you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, so I'm just go from there, bro. Get some videos done. And they get to put them bitches out. Sound good. You brought us some new music through the uh, checkout, so we about to play something else new. Which one did you want us to play next? Like, I know this is some exclusive shit only the penthouse can do and get right now. I want you to play uh, Toxic. All right. So we about to uh, run that Toxic by Mafia. I made that song in uh, that. Tell Atlanta us about too. the Toxic. Man, I was in a fucked up, fucked up mind state when I made this song and shit, man. I felt like I ain't had no heart no more, you know. Shit was fucked up. I felt like my heart was in the dirt, so I went to the booth and I made this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Toxic by Mafia. Let's check it out. Kingmatic. Kingmatic. Starting off like a movie. This shit hard. Yeah. Hey, little bitch, my palms itching right now. All I know is work. Call you I back. might fly you out the way with me. Just put this in your purse. I ain't got time for you when you talking about your feelings hurt. That be fucking up the money. I think my heart in the dirt. Dirt. Yeah, I think my heart in the dirt. Dirt. Even tried to wash it off one time, and that ain't even work. Work. My shit wasn't even beaten. Some days I feel like I'm cursed. Curse. I fell in love with money. Send they mama gay birth. Yeah. I don't need hit a bitch. Tunnel vision. Tunnel. Yeah. Half a million dollars in my grandma kitchen. Damn, yeah. like my mom, It got cold like a blizzard, nigga. Now all I see is palm trees in the symbol. This shit serious. Yeah. And car side like a half a ticket. Real when nigga. I get done smoking this drunk, I'm finna hop back in. Let's go. If they can get some millions, I can get some millions. Let's go. Plug gas and keys and some more. Fuck it, send it. Send it, nigga. How could I tell him no? When I'm trying to get it, tell him no. I feel that shoddy low, let's get, get, get it. I'm sliding. SRT, I used to ride behind the Civic. Every nigga I grew up with, dead or independent. I'm fucking with it. Hey, little bitch, my palms itching right now. All I know is work. Work. Might fly you out the way with me. Just put this in your purse. I ain't got time for you when you talking about your feelings hurt. They be fucking up the money. I think my heart in the dirt. Dirt. Yeah. I think my heart in the dirt. dirt. Even tried to wash it off one time, and that ain't even work. God. My shit wasn't even beaten. Some days I feel like I'm cursed. cursed. I fell in love with money, send they mama gay birth. birth. Whoa. Yeah. That was Mafia Toxic. Whoa. Where did that? Tell us. What was the inspiration? What, what mode was you in when you was in a booth doing that? What city went, What city was you in? What studio was you in? What mode was you in when that record came? I fuck with that record. I was getting a bunch of money, first of all. <laughs> I was getting a lot of money back then. I'm still getting a lot of money, man, but back then I was getting a lot of money. You say back then, how, long, how, how old is this record? About a year old. I recorded last year. And, and we can, can we expect this one on a new project? For sure. That, yeah, that's yeah. fire. That's fire. Yeah, but uh, I was in Atlanta when I recorded it. I had just bought a uh, a new chain. My other piece, uh, I went to Wafi. Shout out Wafi, I think I spent like 40 bands that day or some shit, but I just was, but I was going crazy in my mind at the same time, though, for like some relationship shit. But I was blowing all this money and shit, so I just went to the booth, man. Shit, I made that motherfucker. And how you, and how you dealing with the, your relationship shit problems these days? Is Moff is my cool? Is you back focused? Is your head in the right space, man, so we can get some of this good quality? Man, I put A1 that shit music. in the music, man. I put all the relationship shit I go through in the music. 
That, that's that's what we that's what we expect, and we don't want nothing less than that from you, my feel yeah. like nothing less. Um, I want to touch on the Young Dolph situation because I know you fuck with pre super hard R P Young yeah. Dolph. Tell me the impact that Young Dolph passing away had on you because I know he was like definitely one of your you role models crazy. as far as music. All right, I was um I was sitting poolside and shit talking to my nigga and shit smoking, and I had just lost a whole bunch of money and shit. You know what I mean? I think I bet some money on some shit, and I lost a whole lot of money. So I was already in a fucked up mood. You feel me? Salty already. Already yeah, like, salty. Bro, I was already salty as hell. Then my little nigga, um, he called me and was like, bro, they just killed Dolph. I'm like, bro, what? Who? Man, bro, I checked the news and shit, bro. I checked Say Cheese and all that shit, but that shit hurt, bro. You know, Dolph was like my goddamn role model for real, man. Like, I listened to Dolph for a long, long time. You know what I mean? I made a lot of money fucking with him. Dolph, Listening to that nigga, man. but like, I can't believe they killed my nigga, man. Definitely is crazy again. A, a major RP to uh, Young Dolph. Rest easy. Let your soul rest easy. You definitely was a legend, a pioneer in the game. And like I said, I definitely know the impact that he had on you. Um, yeah. Hustling wise, music wise, I definitely know you fucked with him. Um, if it wasn't if it wasn't for for rap, what do you think it would would be that mafia would be doing? Uh, doing real estate, you know what I mean? Selling houses, doing rehabs, uh, sending dump trucks out there, you know what I mean? Picking up dirt and asphalt and shit to get money. Uh, I fuck with the stocks a little bit now too, but um, the crypto shit. I put some money in Dodge Coin or uh, Doge Coin. Mm -hmm. Lost a lot of money fucking with that shit. <laughs> you know how much? What what's the most you lost fucking with that shit? About ten thousand. You know what I mean? It wasn't too yeah, much, it couldn't but couldn't be me, sir. Yeah, like. The whole crypto thing, I ain't really into that shit, man, for real, for real because I, I, I don't really believe it. Like, it's like an up and down thing. It's like it's like gambling, bro. It's like going to the casino and putting down 30000 And like, shit, bro, I hope this motherfucker hit. <laughs> Basically. I ain't got time for that shit. But yeah, bro, that's what I, I would be doing if I wasn't rapping. So that's what I'm doing now because I'm not rapping. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm doing all this legal things. ventures and everything. You know what I mean? Taking care of my kids and my family and all that, but so that's my main focus right now. But like I said, I'm getting back into the music now. I've been recording for like two years. I ain't took no break on recording music. So I got like 200 songs. I just got to get back motivated. 200 you know songs. What I mean? You've been working. Yeah, for sure. And you do got the uh, the Mafia Money label. You do got artists under you. Yes, Talk sir. about your artists a little bit. What, what, what plans or what upcoming things can we see from the artists coming up from your label? Um, I just got some new plugs on the marketing side, and uh, I just made my label official, you know what I mean, with the banks and everything, getting everything together, so so uh, I'm finna start dumping money into my artists on the, um, the new marketing side I got, and just seeing what it do, and shit, whoever take off, take off. That sound good. Can you give, them, give us a name or the names of your artists so people can check them out or look forward to them? Uh, Mafia Money 2K is my artist. Shout uh, out Mafia shout Money. Out Mafia Leak. Money. That's my artist. Shout out the um, boys, the home team, the homies, uh, Leak and 2K. Uh, you know, I support a lot of artists, man. Like, a lot of my young who's niggas. Some like, of the, who some of the artists you fuck with? Cash, Cash, like Cash, hard, man. Man. Cash, Cash working. Thing. Cash working. Like, uh, it's just New Cat, too. Um, Talking to Mike. It's just New Cat, who uh, I came across from uh, seeing you shoot this video. His name uh May in the 90s. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I like him a lot. May turned. Yeah. That's my dog, May, man. He yeah. turned. Shout out May, too. Yeah, I like him um, as far as as far as the project coming, can we expect any any like tour dates to to come along with the project, or are you pretty much gonna do this on the stationary side and just let it rock and whatever the fuck happen happen on this shit? Uh, of course I want to go on tour, you know what I mean. But uh, I'm focused on putting the music out, you know what I mean. Getting new people, getting new fans, and really seeing what my new marketing plug can do. Cause that was my whole thing. And doing music, I never really had a good, solid marketing plug. People would be lying and shit, saying they can do this and that. I paid a nigga 5000 2500 or whatever, and the shit don't fall through. So I seen this new marketing plug go good for my homie Rick Rain. You know what I mean? He got a song with, um, with uh, I think, Yellow Wolf. Man, he did about half a million streams. Shout out Ricky, too. He, yep. was, just, he was just here. We definitely And I seen the money in his too. account. Like, I seen the... The racks in there, so it's like, bro, now I'm finna dump the money into the marketing, bro, because if I could turn 
that money into some real money, bro. Well, shit, man. Why not jump back into this shit, bro? It's going to make it make sense. It's going to make it make all the sense. So, um, we got another record. Of course, we got to have your permission. Is it okay if we, we tease them another record from the upcoming project before you get out of here? Because I know we got to uh, bring you back when you actually yeah. drop the project. So, is it cool if we tease them another record? Yeah, for sure. Which one you want to uh, tease them this time? Uh, play that Celine. I made this song thinking about a bitch with a fat ass. <laughs> Somebody I see on Instagram. Straight for like a bit. Who's your celebrity? Who's your celebrity crush? Who's like the Instagram model or the celebrity that you like? Oh, that's just that's the one for me for real. There's a couple of them out there, man. But uh, Young Miami. Young Miami. She nice. Yeah, young Miami. She nice. She nice. I wasn't expecting you to say her, but yeah, she nice. I ain't about to get too deep into that shit, man, but you know. <laughs> All right, we about to get into this Celine. Let's see what it's talking about. Make sure y'all comment if y'all fucking with this below, too. Let's go. By Mafia, let's do it. Little mama had three BB, yeah, to stand it next to me. Ask her how she doing it, what she doing out here in Beverly. Little mama act stupid fat, I can't let her get away from me. So, what you finna do? I took that little hoe shopping instantly. Let her ride the C8 with me, then jumped in the Bentley. Yeah, she like, I can't stand when niggas think they gon' hit this for free. Now we shooting pornos at the double tree. My bitch might pull up, told my nigga cover me. She like, boy, I know you lie me cause you stuttering. I'm the trap, 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 trap of the year. I got another ring. Let's go. My shoes, Valentino shirt, baby Nate. Just talk to the plug. It's another hundred on the way. What you say, bro? Hope they still got some gorilla cake. I'm doing a dash in this 488. I'm not. Listen, I'm not, I'm not giving y'all no more. This guy's in here going completely fucking insane and nuts. I'm ex super excited. See, what you're hearing is two years of me perfecting my craft, but Listen, and I, I wasn't putting on no When is the new project going to drop? Give me a date. Give us a date. We need... I, we want... I'm going to keep it real. I'm probably right going to drop... I'm probably going to drop in August on my B-Day. You know what I mean? That gave me enough time to shoot some videos and shit. And it really map my shit out the right way. I'm probably going to drop in August. So, listen, y'all. I want y'all to go... Blow Mafia's gram up right now. Tag this man. Let him know. Fuck waiting to his B day. We need that right now. If you need that right now, I want y'all to go tag his grand Mafia. Let him know where your gram is. At Mafia Money Boy. Hey, at Mafia Money Boy. Shout out my dog Mafia for stopping through. The Penthouse Podcast. You know how it is. We're gonna keep the most exclusive shit coming to you. He brought us some bangers in here. Like I'm really like for real. I'm really fucking. Anything else y'all niggas wanna know, man? You know what I mean? I ain't did this shit in a long, in a long time. Shit kind of fun. <laughs> hey, I'm fucking I, with these I records, and we song. definitely, definitely gonna bring my dog Moth back, man. Other than that, make sure y'all follow us on uh, YouTube at Penthouse Television, Penthouse TV. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at underscore Bangi, B-A-N-G-I. Make sure you also follow the uh, Instagram page. Uh, it is Penthouse Television. Other than that, we out of here. We appreciate y'all rocking with us. We go like that, yeah. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Lil' mama boot it so fast, she still work at Blue Flame. Jumped out my SRT and jumped in the moon sane. I ain't never ever sold cocaine. Say she gon' leave me, but I don't give a fuck. Plus the plug is on another truck. Trapper of the year, these boys runner ups. I ain't got a rat, you niggas know what's up. Unobtainium.